What is the most creative insult you've ever heard? I forgot where I copied this from most likely an Instagram meme but it's in my notes for future conversations. I'm tired of your ass just shut Yolene mean string bean Charlie Sheen limousine canteen trampoline serpentine antihistamine wolverine submarine unclean nectarine broken gene Halloween defective spleen smoke screen James Dean pudding green tiny peen anti-vaccine aquamarine Eugene extra green nicotine vaseline jelly bean magazine protein lightning McQueen vending machine want to mean ocean man I just replied to someone on Twitter with what kind of idiotic half-assed low rent imbecilic short-sighted egocentric and just pure shit as I have one so I'm an expert. It wasn't particularly creative but I felt I had a good flow. It was replying to someone who was pro book banning. Sex education book where a chain removed it from shelves due to people abusing retail staff. Using fear and intimidation to ban books because of ideology is some Nazi shit and I'm not having it. Forgive me if I get the comic wrong I think it was Rodney Rood. He's doing a show at a large pub. A fat bloke gets up near the front on the right side of the room and starts navigating towards the left, requiring people to shuffle in their seats and it's taking a bit of time. Rodney stops as said as him in the room start to silently watch this guy move. Ladies and gentlemen a man attached to a stomach. And years later I still laugh about it. I knew a girl that went through a divorce and every time she picked up or returned her kids her ex and his new wife would scream at her for some random thing. For that reason she usually took a friend with her. So on one of these escapades the usual starts and so she looks at the new wife and says, I know what your problem is, you're sexually frustrated. She then looks at her ex and says but what's got you going? I thought it was rather brilliant. You won, Jane. Enjoy the money, I hope it makes you happy. Dear lord, what a sad little life, Jane. You ruined my night completely so you can have the money and I hope now you can spend it on lessons in grace and decorum. Because you have all the grace of a reversing dump truck without any tires on. So Jane, take your money and get off my property. One of the greatest moments in British TV history. There was a TikTok spreading all over Insta Reels where this lady basically said if a man's dick isn't sick they're pathetic and not rich enough and blah blah blah. When both men and women shot back at her she was all whiny as most people who talk smack but can't take it hard. One dude came back with the lion, the witch, and the audacity of this bitch. Back in my skate park days. A young indigenous fella about 9-ish years old shouted out to his Caucasian mate. Get out the way you nanny looking Christ white Jesus. I don't think there was a single person at the park except those two that wasn't the in stitches. Most random, most unexpected and weirdly poetic insult I've ever heard. Ref had made some pretty shit calls that favored the other team. One of my teammates skates over to the ref, he has a beer belly, pats his stomach and says. Ah, ref I think you're pregnant. You've missed a few periods. The ref went ballistic and kicked him out of the game. It took a while for both teams to stop laughing. Some random couple arguing in a restaurant. The manager had to escort the man out and was just going off on his lady. As he's being taken out he yells, I hope you get a yeast infection bitch I almost spit out my drink cause I was not expecting that nor had I ever heard someone use that as a last word. Lol. Not much of an insult. More threat I was a substitute teacher for a bunch of 14 15 year olds years back and one told the other that he would be picking up his teeth with broken fingers. It was in jest. There was no threat, and everyone laughed including me. But the phrase has stuck with me. My sister was umpiring a little league game. One of the player's mom, a rather round woman, was riding her from the stands the whole game, accusing her of favoritism. My sister finally had enough, turned to the woman and said, what's the matter honey? Was the donut shop closed? I once was at a meeting where we were trying to facilitate a merger with a new company and one guy, who was laying on the couch because he hasn't been eating due to spending his per diem money on shirts, kept screaming at this old guy and called him a fucking skunk a lot. Heard this while playing volleyball. Is the MVP of the opposite team they're on. Makes much more sense when said out loud and you can change the wording of it when saying it to make it make more sense. Also there is a Shakespearean insult generator on Google. There was a dude who went to be a prep cook in the restaurant I work at. Him and a waitress get into an argument, and he says your dildo must turn flaccid when you use it. He was fired the next day and me and a cook were yelled at by our boss for laughing. Not really an insult, but darling he's more camp than a row of chins on the Appalachian Trail is one of my favorite things I've ever heard. I'd rather be an actress in two girls one cup than spend a second longer on this movie I live in LA. Long story. I was on a construction site and one of the assistant leads came walking by outside as we were working inside. He leaned in and yelled in a deepest voice, 
Boy we I was in Baghdad before you were in your dad's bag. He just kept on walking too low. Wisdom has been chasing you your whole life, but you have always been faster as something my dad said to someone once and they thought it was a compliment, so it was fitting. And a simple favorite is you're as sharp as a marble and twice as dense. My friend was getting showered in sparks from the welder above him. He yelled up hey you lousy cocksucker, you are fucking burning me. She flipped up her shield and told him she was a master at head, not that he would ever find out about it. From the 1999 Dutch metal band Space Marines. Vies van Mol, Tra, Will J. A. N. Van Grail and J. Hole? Translates roughly into. Sit dirty mole, troll, do you want a guide rail in your hole? I always found this line very creative. A former coworker was getting some shit from one of our customers. After the customer said something particularly bad, my coworker looked him square in the face and said comments like that is probably why you're missing tea. A guy at my work called my old manager fucking teddy bear legs. She has quite chunky thighs and calves and wears very tight fitting black jeans to work. I was almost crying laughing because that's exactly what they look like. I don't exactly RMR. But a friend of mine brought her little brother to introduce and we were teasing him so he told one of my other friends something along the lines of are you a gutter, cause you spitting too much bullshit. Left on bad terms with an ex and his buddy was on my side and said I hope he gets reincarnated as a deer so he knows what it's like to be thrown under the bus. I had to tell him it was probably the best one I've heard so far. You're the only fat person I know that makes an effort to look nice. Wow, just wow. Especially from woman that was supposed to be my friend. After that backhanded compliment and other reasons she's no longer my friend. At university, our lecturer was speed writing onto the blackboard. The student yawns loudly. Without turning or missing a beat writing on the board, the lecturer says. Can someone throw the dog a bone please? I get flustered when my friends fake insult me. One time that happened and I didn't know how to respond so I just kinda sputtered out well you have a fat mouth let's just say that's a running joke in our group now. Heard this one in a stream. I'm a little sapiosexual and I used to have a bit of a crush on you. Until I actually got to know so much anymore. Sapiosexual finding intelligence attractive. Edit typo. One of the bartenders I worked with had her ex come and screaming and she said you can never own eat my asshole and I was shocked. And we all clapped not really. This happened before the ass eating got popular. Have you ever considered the benefits of a frontal lobotomy? Overheard being said in a casual conversational manner by one man to another who was ranting about something I honestly couldn't understand what. A few years ago I had really crooked teeth and a good friend of mine said the inside of your mouth looks like a game of chess with only white pieces. The next day I booked my appointment to get braces. I'd give it's creative, but friend once randomly told me while I was driving that Biden needed dick in his mouth. He was so passionate about the fact that Biden needed dick in his mouth. It was pretty funny. In the book Bad Science by Ben Goldacre he explains that most nutritionists don't deserve to be called liars. Liars know the truth and care if you learn about it. Nah these are bullshitters at best. Heard one in a TikTok video the other day. Girl was insulting the guy and he replied back you have no definitions. You look like you're easy to draw. Never heard this insult before but goddamn. A guy to a girl. In high school circle Fudra, which roughly translates to come mop. Another one is from a French rapper if streets were paved in dicks, you'd be walking on your ass. I hope you never get to eat your grandmother's Thanksgiving cornbread again. My old manager to someone yelling at him for 15 minutes in a drive through cause we were closing to put away truck. There's a name for you ladies, but it isn't used in high society. Outside of a kennel. Delivered by Joan Crawford as Crystal Allen in The Woman. When I was in high school there was a guy that was upset about the grade he received on a project. He asked the teacher why he got an F and the teacher replied, because we don't give out G's. My wife says that I have the fashion sense of a colorblind pimp. Not saying she's wrong, though. I heard this one at work having Bob on your team is like having two good workers quit. We might as well be in a lesbian relationship because your dick is so small it's like we're bumping clits. Overheard by my co-worker talking about his ex's very creative deep cutting insults. I've seen a video where a guy and a girl were roasting each other about their appearances. The guy said something along the lines of you have no defining features. You look easy to draw, smiley face, smiley face. First time I went to dinner at my BF's parents house he warned me his brother has the modesty and humility of a newly moneyed rapper. He might try to suck his own cock during dinner. Told my soldier private those aren't acne scars on your face. 
Those are battle scars of you dodging the code hanger for 9 months needless to say I was counseled for that statement. I read this comment on a post where a guy explained how amazing he felt after the first time that a girl asked him out. The first response. Cool man. What breed was her guide dog? Was golfing and stopped to pee on a tree. Didn't realize I was facing the direction of oncoming cart path and this guy yells out while driving by. Looks like a penis, only smaller. Okay, so this isn't an insult, and I don't remember the context because we were hammered. But my brother once said I'd rather lay face down naked and wait for it to rain dildos. Southern insults are my absolute favorite of them all. This one gets me every time. That girl's as ugly as homemade soap. So simple, but first time I heard it. I lost my shit. Was once called a man whore. Interesting to considering she cheated on me. Also heard someone say he has a spatial awareness of a blind and deaf cat always gets me still. Shakespeare has three of my favorites. You're as loathsome as a toad. You're as fat as butter. I'll beat thee but I should infect my hands. Eminem had nothing on Shake's smile. In an army setting full with 20 something males talking about each other's sex life. That dude has only seen PY and Pixels. 15 years gone by and I still remember that one. Actual line from a farewell speech my boss once made for a departing team member and leaving our team to go join that other team. Bob has raised the average IQ of both teams. That guy is the kind of person who watches 20 minute YouTube videos on how to be an alpha male. I forget where I heard it first but I still use that insult to this day. You're such a joke that your mother only gave birth to you to prove women can be funny too. Also how you have a father in your life and still turned out a bastard.